Away from you. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Savatech once again, and today we're going to be going over the more power play tool or basically changing the power play tables for the RX 6700 XT to get the most out of the GPU, but not before a word from our sponsor. The following is a paid advertisement. Prime XBT is an established trading platform that was founded in 2018 and remained in business through the bear market. For my personal research, there are three main reasons they set themselves apart from other trading platforms. High leverage, low fees, and most importantly, privacy. Prime XBT requires no user information to start trading. The newest module called Covesting allows users to copy the trading activity of other users. Remember, any form of investing comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Use promo code SONOFATECH at sign up for a 50% bonus. Welcome back. So like I said, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the RX 6700 XT and how you can change the core voltage by changing the registry keys in Windows using the More Power tool, which you can download from Igor's lab, which will be linked down in the description below. Now, the reason we would want to do this is to essentially decrease the amount of power consumption that the rig is utilizing so that we can decrease the amount we are paying in power. In return, basically, we will get more profit daily off of the GPU because we are paying less in power. Now, that being said, if you're using something like Hive OS or Simple Mining, this won't be necessary because you can essentially turn that core voltage down as far as you want through the overclocking tools in that software, thanks to Linux. The reason you need it in Windows is because Windows has limitations set via registry entries that the more power tool will overwrite. And so if you are on Windows, this will be helpful for the RX 6700 XT. And I recommend definitely setting up different profiles. We'll kind of go over some caveats if you're using it for daily use as well. But before we get into it, let's get a baseline number here. And as you can see, we already have an overclock applied, which we'll go over. And then we are mining using Team Red Miner 0.8.1.1 which supports, of course, the 6700 XT as well as the 6800 XT and so on. The overclock settings that we have currently applied is going to be a max frequency turned down to 1050 megahertz with the voltage left alone. And we'll talk about why here in a second. We have basically fast timing enabled on the video memory and the overclock all the way up to 2150 megahertz where it settles around 2130 to 2140 megahertz at actual operating frequency. So let's go back to the max frequency and of course the voltage on the clock. What you'll notice here is that essentially we have a frequency of 1050 and because we did that, you can see that our voltage went down to 887 millivolts. Now, if you took the slider and went all the way down, you'll notice that you can only go down to 912 millivolts. So you can't actually turn down the power consumption at this point any further. What we're about to do is change how far you can turn that slider down. But before we do it, let's get a baseline on the power consumption for the rig. So as you can see in the software is around 105 to 106 watts. And right now we are reading anywhere from 240 to 250 watts on the kilowatt. All right, so let's talk about how to get the voltage lower. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download Tech Power Up GPUZ and accept the UAC and we'll get it installed and then launch. If you have multiple GPUs in your system, make sure the correct one is selected. As you can see here, we're on the 6700 XT. You're gonna find this little Save BIOS button and click it and then click Save to File. You can save it as a friendly name like 6700 XT and then click Save. And then next we're gonna to need to get the More Power Tool. Links for both of these will be in the description. We're gonna download from Igor's lab. Once downloaded, you'll click it to install it click yes to the UAC and go through the install process and then click launch. So at this point you'll click on the down button and you can see here that we have the 6700 XT. There are no fields filled out and that's because the BIOS is not loaded. So we're gonna to need to load that BIOS that we saved from GPU-Z. We can do that by clicking the load button and then selecting the 6700 XT ROM and clicking open. At this point you will have 
a whole bunch of different tabs and different options to go through, but we're going to want to go to the power and voltage tab and adjust the minimum voltage for graphics. Now, here's where your mileage may vary. I'm going to show you guys the settings I'm using. However, depending on the silicon lottery, your GPU may not undervolt as far, or it may, of course, undervolt even further. The caveats here that we need to discuss is that you, all, if you also use this GPU for other tasks, you want to be very careful because the starting voltage will be at this number. So if you spin up an application that's not friendly with this, it could crash and you may want to reverse your settings. Now, if you're doing it purely for mining, you also need to keep in mind that you should apply overclocks first, like we had showed, especially if you're gonna be copying mine, make sure those function for at least 20 minutes while mining before starting to adjust of course voltages here with that out of the way what we're going to do is go ahead and set this to 762 i'm going to go ahead and save it you can save it as something friendly like 6700 xt mod and click save and then we're going to go ahead and click write sppt and it will say successfully added at this point we're going to go ahead and reboot the system and then get to going from there Alrighty, so now that we've rebooted, we're going to want to go ahead and open Radeon settings. We are going to want to go to the tuning tab and then click manual. We're going to go ahead and turn on the GPU tuning to verify the change took place. You will also need to enable advanced control. And as you can see here, we can turn the voltage down to 762 like we set in the more power tool. So we know it went ahead and worked. At this point, we're gonna leave it where it was and we're gonna load our profile for the overclock that we had before. If you didn't save it, you may have to of course redo it. But I have one right here for the mining overclock and we don't necessarily need to change the voltage at this point. Essentially, because of the registry edit, it should allow the voltage to turn itself down. As you can see, the voltage actually went up to like 737 there. So now we're just gonna start the miner and verify that we've reduced the power consumption. So the important thing to note already is that it's gone down from over 800 millivolts to the 762 millivolts on the core here and we didn't actually have to change the voltage because we already have our core clock low enough at 1050 megahertz it is automatically going to draw the lowest it's allowed to draw which is the 762 which we wrote into the registry now it does take a little bit of time for the gpu to spin up to full speed right now it's showing about 27 mega hash and then once it's at full speed we will verify the changes Okay, as you can see, we're still at 46.51 mega hash, so we didn't drop any hash rate at all, which is awesome. And we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and verify with the kilowatt. So I have the kilowatt plugged in here. And as you can see, we've actually dropped quite a bit, even more than we initially anticipated. We are at 212, 206 to 212 watts. And that compared to the 230 to 240 watts is a pretty big deal. So there you go. There's how to go ahead and utilize the more power tool to reduce the power consumption on your 6700 XT while mining Ethereum. Let me know your results and if you can get even lower on the core voltage, I'd be super intrigued to see kind of what the, the limits of the 6700 XT are, especially in regard to the Silicon Lottery. If you found this helpful, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here, or of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.